Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Manzur Ahmad Ganai, lecturer history. Our today's topic for 12th class students of history subject is What do you think was the significance of rituals associated with the Mahanaomi Dibba? Dear students, Mahanaomi Dibba is presently a beautiful stone platform also known as Dasara Dibba and this Mahanaomi Dibba was one of the most impressive and the highest structures that was located in Hampi and basically this Mahanaomi Dibba was a massive stone platform covering a base up about 11,000 square feet with a height of about 40 feet. It appears that this platform supported a wooden structure which got destroyed with the passage of the time. It is thought that the Mahanaomi Dibba was constructed by this uh, Vijayanagara ruler, one of the most important rulers of Vijayanagara Empire, namely Krishnadevraya, in 1513 AD, in the memory of his victory over Udiyagiri, which is in modern Odisha. It is believed that the original structure constructed by Krishnadevraya was perhaps a little different and smaller than what we see it today. It is thought that the successors of Krishna Devraya have this uh, over time has changed this Mahanami Dibba. But the basic structure has remained the same. And it is thought that kings used this Mahanami Dibba as a platform as a stage means the the platform of this uh, Mahanaomi Dibba was used as a stage by the kings to watch various activities and uh, programs that were conducted here at the time of the Hindu festival of Mahanaomi which is known by different names in different parts of India like it is known as the same festival of Mahanami is known as Dasera in northern in India, Druga Puja in Bengal, Navratri or Mahanami in peninsular India. And since the in northern India this festival is also known as Dasera, so Dasera this uh, Mahanami Deba is also called Dasera Deba. So in nutshell we can say the kings used this platform as a stage to watch different festivals, different different activities and programs that were conducted here at the time of the Mahanami festival, which was carried out in the months of September, September and October. The, the different activities carried out here in Mahanami at Mahanami Dibba were as under number one. The Hindu festival of Mahanaomi or Navratri was celebrated, celebrated with pomp and show in the months of September and October and this festival continued for nine days. Number two, on this occasion, famous gods and goddesses of the state and worship of the horse was performed in great splendor. Number three, Sacrifices of buffaloes and other, and other animals was also part of worship at Mahanami Dibba at this time. Number four, dancing, a wrestling matches, and other entertaining items were also presented before the kings and his guests at the time of this festival of Mahanaomi. Number five, the Nayakas, means the military chiefs, 
and the subordinate kings offered precious gifts to the king on this occasion as well number 6 the king watched the army march past the war games and the royal procession that was carried out here during the mahanami festival number last on the last day of the festival the king inspected his army and armies of the nayakas in a grand ceremony in an open field thus we mean to say through various rituals and activities and programs that were carried out at mahanami dibba the vijayanagara kings are believed to have displayed their power prestige supremacy and suzerainty over their people